In this video, you're going to learn how to shoot projectiles out of your weapons and set an ammo limit using scripting in Horizon Worlds. Stick around. Hi guys, my name is Tony and welcome back to Jackal Dude Gaming. Here, I like to have fun in VR, but I love helping you have fun there too. In a previous series, we learned how to make a whole VR shooting range and I've gone around and I've seen a lot of the projectile weapons you all have made based on some of that scripting, which is awesome. But I'm here to tell you that it doesn't stop there. Once you make a projectile weapon, constantly adding mechanics is how you come up with something really special. So in this video, we're going to go over again how to launch a projectile, but this time we're going to set an ammo limit and a quick reload function. If this video helps you out at all, think about giving it a thumbs up so more people can see it and think about subscribing and clicking the bell notification so you know when the next tutorial drops. I'm going to add about another four or five more videos after this just to make the ultimate weapon. So. There's a lot of work to do today, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to the VR shooting range that we built in the last tutorial. Today we're going to go over some things to add to your guns to make them much cooler. Some mechanics to make them feel more alive. So here I've made a gun, like this is just a model, there's no scripting on it yet and it has a grab anchor even though it, the grab anchor is kind of in the wrong place. And we've made some sort of like very simple magazine. So let's go into build mode and you see we have the properties panel up on the gun. We just see that we just have it grabbable for now. It collides with everything. And uh, we have the grab anchor on. Even though see, you can tell by the hand the grab anchor's in the wrong place. So we're just gonna adjust that real fast. Uh, I'm not gonna go over of how I actually built the gun or modeled it rather. Um, I do have a video on where I did that, where I went step by step on how I made these guns over here. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that up on the screen tag above. But we're going to start getting into scripting. We're going to break this out into uh, a bunch of different mechanics. So in this video, I really want to get us to one shoot a projectile. Again, we've done that before, but I'm going to go over it really quickly in this video. And then I also want to give this an ammo count, right? If it's a real gun in a real video game, you can't just shoot it endlessly. Like eventually it runs out of ammo and you have to reload it somehow. So we're going to have an ammo count and a really quick reload mechanic after we script how to shoot it. So let's go ahead and just start making a script. We're going to open up our build menu, go to gizmos and let's grab a script block. We're going to press up to open up the script block uh, and we're just going to call this gun script okay when world has started uh we'll leave that for now because we might utilize that later but for now we want to be able to shoot the gun right in order to do that we like to utilize a launch gizmo so before we actually go ahead with the script let's go put a launch gizmo in its proper place so we're going to open up our build menu again we're gonna grab a projectile launcher. You can see it's this little arrow and whenever we activate the projectile launcher, it'll shoot in the direction of the arrow. So we wanna place this in the group that our gun is in. So we're gonna turn snapping on just to make everything level. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold over our gizmo. We're gonna press it so it's highlighted, right? With the snapping tool gone. Remember to turn the snapping tool on, we press down on our D-pad. Snapping on, snapping off, snapping on, snapping off. We want to have it on so then we can fine tune it by grabbing one of its points. So we're going to grab the very middle of this side and we're going to place it like we're going to try to place it. Yeah, right here in the middle of this O ring. If you look closely, you can see that's right in the center of that. That's exactly where we want it. Now let's uh, open up the properties panel of this launch gizmo. Do that. We put our cursor inside and bump our thumbstick up. We grab the properties panel. All right, we're just going to change a couple settings in here. I want this to be a more realistic, quote unquote, or more modern gun. So we're going to change the projectile present to pistol, which is just a small sphere, but that's fine. Speed, I want this to be quick. So we're just going to add a zero to make that 200 speed. And color, uh, let's make it yellow. So we'll just take the green, I'm sorry, the blue value and put that to zero so then the red value and the green value are both one which will make a nice yellow and that's all we're going to do with the properties panel for now we're not going to close it though we're just going to put it over to the side now we have to also make sure 
this is a part of the gun group because if we now move, if we try to move the gun, look, it doesn't come with it, womp. So what we need to do is make sure this is highlighted, right? Just like in our blue wireframe mode. And then we have to go to the gun properties panel and we have to hit this button up here that says press to zoom in or out of this group. So when we hit that button, we go into this dark mode and we can only access things inside of this group. But because we wireframed, AKA highlighted, AKA selected the launch gizmo before we entered the mode, we actually got to bring the launch gizmo with us, right? We already put it in the place we want it. So to make sure that it stays here, all we have to do is unselect that. And to unselect it, we're just gonna press up, bam. Now it's unselected, which means we're leaving it here in this group. So when we leave the group, which we can do simply by hitting this button again on the gun properties panel, now that should be in there permanently. Yep. And now when I move the gun around, the gizmo moves with it. Perfect. Now let's move on back to the script. So we made this object grabbable. So when we grab the object and then press the index trigger, the trigger on the hand we've grabbed the object with, we want something to happen. So we're gonna go over to controller events and we're gonna grab when index trigger is pressed. We're gonna move that over here to the command prompt. Oh, are we though? There we go. Now, when index trigger is pressed while grabbed by a player. So if a player is grabbing the object and then presses the index trigger, we want it to launch the projectile. So we have to go over to the actions tab, scroll down to launch projectile, and we're gonna plop that right here. Perfect. Now, uh, contrary to popular belief, we're actually not launching it from the gun. We're launching the projectile from the projectile launcher. But this script is actually going to be attached to the gun. So we need to reference the launcher. The way we reference objects that we don't have the script directly attached to is by making a variable. So we're going to go to our variables tab, click that, hit new variable. We're going to name this launcher. I usually like to name this barrel, but just for uh, educational sakes, we're gonna name this launcher and we're gonna make sure it's an object type. Perfect. So we will correctly reference that to this variable later, but for now we will take the variable we just made and drag that here instead of self. Now we're at this step, let's go ahead and just attach the gun script to our gun. So here's our gun properties panel. We go over to where it says attach script, hit that drop down menu, It'll have all of the scripts we've made for our world. We just made the gun script, so let's click that. Now that we've made the gun script, it has our object variables listed below and it wants to know exactly what they are. So here's the launcher variable we made. It wants to know what that is. It's this launcher right here. So we're gonna grab the reference pill from the launcher's properties panel by hovering over it like this, pressing and holding the trigger. So now we have it in our hand and then we will drag it over here and let go. Now with this blue line, we realize that this script now knows what we mean by launcher. We mean this launcher. So let's go test that just to make sure that works. So we're gonna go into our world. We're gonna grab our gun. Oh, it moved our uh, grab point again, but if we pull the trigger, yeah, it's shooting our projectile pretty quickly. <laughs> Pew, 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 pew. But again, remember, we don't want this. We don't want to just be able to shoot endlessly because that's not fun. I'm also going to fix this anchor again. We're probably going to have to do that every time we add something to it. So just keep that in mind. A quick tip, if you want to move this grab anchor around, it's much easier if you make sure you're not on snap mode. So let's turn off snap mode just so we can grab the hand and place it again where we like it. Check that again. Not the best, but that's fine for now. Okay, so like we said, we don't want this to shoot forever, endlessly. We want it to have a certain value or certain amount of times it can shoot before it is quote unquote empty. So for that, we need to go back to our script and we need to make a number variable. We're actually gonna make two for reloading purposes. So go over to our variables tab. We're gonna hit new variable. We're gonna name this one current ammo. So C-U-R, oops, not cut ammo, <laughs> current ammo. And we're gonna leave this as a number type variable. Now current ammo is going to stay at zero because that is the, this is the actual value we're going to constantly be manipulating. But whenever we wanna set it back to max, so like when we reload, 
we want to set it back to its max value. So we'll make a new number variable and we'll call this max ammo. Just so it knows when we reload how much ammo to give it again. So we'll make that another number variable and plop it there. Uh, for this, just because I'm a fan of revolvers, we're just going to make this six shots. So max ammo is going to equal six. Now, that's why we actually kept when world is started, because ideally when you pick up the gun, you want it loaded and ready to go. So at the beginning, we're going to set our current ammo to max ammo. So let's go to the operator tab. Nope, just kidding. Let's go to the values tab. We're going to grab the set to command and we're going to put that right under when world is started. Come on, there we go. Now, what do we want to set? We want to set max, nope, we want to set current ammo to equal max ammo. Wonderful. So now our current ammo is going to be six because we are setting our current ammo to max ammo. This is just really nice and organized. So later on, maybe you want to make a power up that increases your ammo capacity. You can have it directly increase the value of max ammo. Okay, but how do we get this to affect us shooting? Ideally, we want to make sure that we can only shoot the gun if we have ammo. So if our ammo is greater than zero, so we are going to go to the events and we're gonna make an if statement. Scroll to the top to grab our little if block and we're gonna place that right under when index trigger is pressed. So we wanna also take the launch projectile from launcher and indent it underneath the if statement. See how this uh, bar goes down farther past the launch projectile command? That's how you know that this will only happen under this if condition. So if our ammo is greater than zero because we wanna at least have one ammo to be able to shoot the gun, we can then launch projectile from launcher. So we're gonna to go to the operators tab and we're gonna grab a greater than symbol and plop it right there. And we want to make sure that our current ammo is greater than zero, which at the beginning of the world it is because we set it to max ammo. So as long as current ammo is greater than zero, so let's get zero by going to values, it's going down a bit and getting a number input. Blam, it's already at zero, perfect. So if our current ammo is greater than zero, we'll launch a projectile, great. The thing is, right now we don't have anything to take away ammo. So we set it to six, and then that means it's above zero. So then we could still shoot it as much as we want. We don't want that. We wanna be able to spend our ammo. So if current ammo is greater than zero, we'll launch a projectile, but then we wanna take one away from max ammo. So the way we do that is another set command. So we will go up to values, grab the set to command again, plop that here. What are we setting? We want to set what current ammo is. So we'll grab the current ammo variable again and plop it there. We want to set it to minus one. We can't just put minus one. We have to set it to what current ammo was minus one. For instance, if current ammo is six, we shoot the gun. We want to set it to six minus one, which will be five. So we need to get a subtraction operator on the operators tab, get this little minus symbol, plop it here, and then we'll get current ammo, plop it here. So, and then we also need another number input to make sure we are subtracting it by one. We'll grab number input, plop it here, and then change this to a one. Perfect. So now every time we shoot the gun, as long as ammo is greater than or greater than zero, we will launch the projectile and then we will subtract one from current ammo. So let's go test that out real quick. We're gonna go into preview mode. We're gonna grab this gun and we're gonna count how many times we can shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm spamming the trigger and nothing's coming out. So ideally, we did it, we did what we achieved, but again, now this gun is useless. <laughs> so if you wanna be able to reload the gun, we are going to make a quick reload real quick. Later on, I wanna make a video where I teach you how to load it with a magazine. That's why we made this little mag guy. But right now, just to prove the concept of this ammo count, we're gonna make a much faster reload. Luckily, there are more buttons on your right controller other than the trigger. So we're gonna use one of those buttons to then kind of reload the mag, almost like we're recharging the gun. So we're gonna go over to events and we're gonna go back down to 
to controller events. We're gonna grab when button one is pressed and then we'll plop that here. Awesome. So when button one is pressed while grabbed by player, we are going to basically use the same command we used when world is started. We wanna set the current ammo back to max ammo. So we'll grab this, drop it down here. Oh, grab this, bring it down here, and then you see on our right hand, we can bump our stick to the right to completely duplicate that line of code instead of just moving it. So when button one is pressed, we will then again set our current ammo to max ammo. Let's test that out by going to preview mode, grab our gun, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can't shoot it anymore. We hit button one, and we can shoot it again. Awesome, no more, hit button one, and we can shoot it again. Wonderful. And just so you know, button one are the buttons towards the bottom of your controller. So for the right hand, it'll be A, and for the left hand, it'll be X. But in terms of the uh, scripting, it is just called button one. So we made another gun that can fire a projectile. We set an ammo limit to make it stop shooting once it reaches zero and we made a quick reload function. In some future videos, we're gonna go over how to make the mechanics of those guns feel better, adding delays between shots and reloading. So if you wanna see how much farther we can get done with this weapon, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.